the the second of april 2024 yes the holidays are over so you know the roads are a bit busy <laughs> but not as busy as it ought to be because the kids are still on holidays welcome to family and values like Kolori will say it's tuesday with a difference today's zone is indeed with a difference you will understand that in the course of the program oh how are you doing how was the weekend how was how was easter celebration let me put it that way because it was a very long one and um, hope everyone has um gone back to reason the fact that christ has resurrected and he paid the price for us like we said yesterday on the show he's not in the tomb he's risen and to our muslim brothers and sisters that are still um, in the spirit of ramadan our prayers are with you that allah will answer all your prayer requests okay today hmm tuesdays are always when we talk about a lot of things that have to do with parenting and um, it's important we discuss these topics because it helps us shape the life of our children and today is not going to be different my name is to remain joy abu we are streaming across all our social media platform please download the galaxy mobile app so that you can watch us on the go okay i don't want to say what lori is here because you all know lori would definitely definitely be in the studio with me in her touch of yellow Today she gave us a touch of yellow. Good morning. A beautiful morning to you. Okay. Beautiful morning. Uh -huh. Beautiful morning, <laughs> beautiful morning from wherever you're watching us mm. from. A beautiful day it is to us here. And um, of course, our time could be different, but we wish you the very best of another day, even as you are still sleeping and waking up. <laughs> okay so one thing i know about health is that your health depends solely on your peace of mind your peace in the heart and also the peace in your soul it's not just on medicine you don't have to depend on medicine when you have peace of mind in your heart in your soul and in your body it gives you one beautiful health that a man will not be able to comprehend and what you eat also determines how you live your life, how you exercise, how fit are you. We are not talking about health day. But I want to believe you are waking up on a good side this morning, Tuesday, the second, like she said, second day. We started April. We started yesterday. April now, just yesterday. Oh. Hmm. That's an happy new one. Before you know it, okay. we it. Before you know it, we will finish Ramadan. Ramadan <laughs> Karim too. All our brothers and sisters in Islam, we love you. We appreciate God's grace over your life. And we pray God will continue to strengthen you and all your answers receive better. Okay, and have a wonderful show as we continue. Join us on all our social media platforms and also remember to send your text message to the number that will come in right there on your screen. Welcome. Okay, welcome. Hmm. Um, how have you seen the road so far? Today is a bit busy on the road. No. From your end, is not right. From my end, it is maybe because I'm coming from. You are plenty <laughs> for your Bosians. They are your Bosians, okay? They are plenty. And the road. They are plenty. And today, at least. Plenty. Yes, but the road is coming fine, from no. Ogba. The road I was like, she only she could be. The other day it was extended. Well, I'm joking. No, yeah, no, is as busy as this. Are on, yes, on. I think that's another so thing. There was yes. a little, mm. you know, free movement. And we are going to experience that till about 22nd. It's from 22nd, the roads are going. It's, sometimes you feel like all the school buses is just bad. <laughs> and you'll be asking yourself, what? And you know, one thing I noticed now the fare has dropped. The place I used to enter 400, now it's 300. Sometimes in this chakra, because now the, the, they, are, they are juggling for passengers, unlike when the schools resume and their lineup of students. And there, yes. There's no difference in the catcher. There's no difference, right? It's still the same. Fare. It's the same. The, oh, Except okay. maybe you leave home earlier. Then uh, yeah. maybe there'll be a reduction. Yeah. But it's still the same fare. It's okay, you know. Well, for those of us coming from the other end, we know that. I am boss. <laughs> like you say, I your boy. Don't worry, she's giving us a talk. I have Ibadoyan, I don't know how to call that. Ibadons, Ibadons, I don't know how to call that. But if I find, if you have an Ibadon boy in the house, anyway. Okay, yes. Um, today, like I said, it's another educative, informative, and one particular show you don't want to miss, because trust me, 
our guest in the studio is seated. Let's go on our quick mini feature. When we return, hmm, we are going into our conversation because we need all the time we can get today. We'll see you on the other side. Okay, welcome back. Um, we are discussing navigating parenting in a challenging society. And um, today's guest is someone dear to us, myself and Olori, because over time, he has been doing Zoom with us. And um, he had the privilege of being in Lagos. And he said, okay, I'm coming live into the studio. I said that he's also a mentor to me personally because um, I've started following him even before we started um, knowing to have our personal conversations. And, and trust me, he's someone that you all want to see because we've been seeing him on Zoom and now he's in the studio live with us. You know, we told you that every this, this, this particular season, this particular quarter, we are going to be bringing all those guests, all those ones that you know that, ah, we, do we love this person? Stop. Don't worry. Come to the studio. Don't do Zoom with us. Come inside. Let's stay here so that they will see you and have a personal conversation. Okay, we have Remy Lawa. He's an author, family life coach, and a therapist. Give it up! It's so good to have him in the studio this morning. So good to have him in the studio. Ah, all the way from ah, Ibadan. All the way from Ibadan. This is an honor. Let me clap again for you. <laughs> Can't you see it's looking really fresh? It's good to have farmers in I'm, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Blushing. But, but, but that there's something about you. You're looking very quiet, calm. What like the when he's on? No, it's when he starts that you will now see the, the you know, he has this passion for parenting the, uh, the and he's always giving that. it, you know, the way it ought to be. I'm, I'm, I'm okay, I'm not flattered. <laughs> I'm not gentle. All right, no, no, you're gentle, you you are gentle, but when it comes to the you passion, have to mm. be the judge. Uh, it's a pleasure being with you. Uh, it's, it's really an honor for you. In fact, when I was told you were coming in and you want to, I said, oh, no, no, nothing would, would make it impossible. <laughs> you know, I called you on Monday and you were like, you're still coming. I say, very good. You know? She was asking, <laughs> was asking <laughs> what about you? Now, she's calling him now. I'm sure he's going to be with the family, so definitely he'll be in Lagos. Thank you so much for honoring our invite. Okay, so we are discussing navigating parenting in a challenging world or a challenging society. Um, I know you have to do a lot to do with parenting. For every time we call you, we've always been talking about parenting because that's your field, you know. But now, how challenged do you think our society is for parenting or okay. for parents in general? All right. Um... I'm going to be a bit, um, I'll divert a bit this morning. Let okay. me say, I'll digress. Okay. We'll be speaking parenting, but for this one, I'm going to concentrate more about um, marriage. Okay. Okay, let's hear this from the beginning, that you and I, even if we have get the opportunity to live for another 100 years, we're never going to see a society that is more peaceful than it is right now okay i'm sure a lot of people are saying god forbid well it's okay it's your right to hmm. um and then our muslim brethren are saying i wish to be lying i don't right have you. any issue with that but the truth remains that you're never ever going to have a peaceful society than it is Secondly, the society is never going to pause for you to parent your children. Mm. So people are going to continue to do their things. The world is a place where we trade ideologies. Mm. So it is who is forceful about it that wins the game. Mm. So if your ideology comes up and you're able to win more people, it thrives. So that you're going to sit in your house and control how I drive my ideology will not work. Mm. That's why you see people of different religion trying to force it down people's truth. Sure. So it is within your right to do. Hmm. But bear in mind that it is within my right also to accept or reject. So the society will forever be whatever it is. But can we come to the public understanding of what a society is? There is something we call territory. So if you can make yourself a territorial commander, then you impose your territory over other people. So everything we see today in the society 
an individual territorial Terrier command commands. taking over the entire society and if you buy into it that's your problem mm. not my problem mm. so mine is i'm in the market to sell you are in the market to buy. to buy so you shouldn't wait for me to influence your choice to buy and that's my job to influence your choice to buy but you should also make up your mind on what do i want to, to buy. buy not that i get into the market and begin to allow opportunity cost may be right for economics mm. but may not be right for you mm. so there are times that you allow reality and no matter how hard you try your values your expectations your decisions and all of that reality will prevail over them now in a challenged society how do you parent and i said i'm going to talk about marriage all right let's start with this there are five pillars of family and i'll mention them without saying too much we have relationship we have emotions we have career we have finance and we have health those are the pillars on which family rests and if anything happens to one of the legs the rest will fall just like you have a tripod this table is standing on three legs if you mm. break one the table will become unstable mm. would that fall it, either of the two now when this happens when any of these things gets faulty your children will no longer desire your home the society becomes their fallback point Yorubas have a saying if the house is not sweet the forest becomes a home I don't know what is beautiful about the forest if you get what I'm saying mm. so if you do not want the society to be the determinant of your children's behavior your home must provide enough succor which is why I said I'm going to talk about marriage, marriage this morning. The society we're talking about, I think I've been able to tie it. Yes, yes. That yes. you create a territory, territory, and that territory is the family. family. It is units of territories that make up the society. The society. Units of families, families that make up society. society. So, and when you come, which one is the dominant? That's the one that takes the day. So, yours must because you're trying to build a culture and a tradition that the children must, must follow, follow. Hmm. and not the world's tradition. tradition now if you're going to make up your mind to marry which is where building this community starts from we get it all wrong to think that in marriage i marry the woman god has chosen for me who is the woman God has chosen for you? We make the mistake of thinking that that woman is an individual. Is this woman, the moment you see that woman, that's the woman that God has chosen for me. No. God's will for you in marriage is not an individual. It is a value. Hmm. It is something that person does that attracts your attention that you can find in so many other people. So it is not tied to this one person so too many times you can go to somebody and say look god said you're my wife or god said you're my husband mm. and the person has a contrary opinion mm. does it mean that god lied no god did not lie what god told you is that the values in this person is what matches what, what you need to look for in a woman so keep wow. looking for it in another woman not necessarily this woman so when you make the mistake and you insist on your desire and not god's will go marry the woman you've already steered the water so you will keep living in a storm all the rest of your life so you just realize that rather than taking your attention in building a community that will grant children that peace and tranquility they need you are busy trying to calm the storm so children can find a home to stay in do you see how children mm. move from your home to the to society, the society. That's why I said the first pillar is relationship. And like one man of God said, the next worst thing after hell is a bad marriage. Mm. Because you will spend the rest of your life trying to correct it. You keep going from village people to all of this and all of that and all of that. The next thing you need to look at is your emotions as a person or as a couple. What are your emotions like? It's important because it determines where your minds are at time. 
you know you are talking about health how good would the food no matter how expensive would the food be for a sick man hmm. if you like borrow all the dollars in the world and make the food no beautify dining table for a sick man is a waste so where lies your emotion are you trying to pull the storm or are you stabilized this is where career comes in this is where finance comes in so if all your attention is on building a career please leave marriage alone hmm. <laughs> leave marriage alone no. leave marriage so alone focus your attention on, on career that is that it because you want to build your mind your intention that out, is it you know. for those who are watching me there there's this evil saying that um, the person you are backing does not back a dog i can't back a baby now and he has a dog Don't. Doll, well, and he says he wants to buy the doll. If you are backing you, you can't back a doll. If they are carrying you, you can't carry somebody. The Bible calls it help me. If I'm helping you, I must either be stronger than you or as strong as you. Because the load I'm carrying that is heavy for me must not be heavier than the person that is helping me. me. So you are not marrying a liability. Stop looking at women as weaker vessels. So this idea of a man going to marry a woman you want to drag, why they are still dragging you? Both of you will just drag yourselves into the mouth of Trey Lanina. Hmm. <laughs> can, can, can I be right to now ask? You know, we're talking about navigating parenting in a challenged society. Yeah. Will it now be right for me to ask how can we prevent, you know, to uh, how can we Just want to expose me. Yeah. Just want to expose me. I don't <laughs> understand <not>. English. <laughs> All right, but I think to navigate things is just to walk around, around it, it yes. right? Yes. If I yes. got it right, yes. Yes. to walk around, around it. it. I'm glad that navigation meant that all of us have accepted that yes. there are challenges. Yes. Challenges. Fantastic. So there are challenges, and to navigate it, you cannot, right? Like I said last week, you cannot treat a tree from the leaf. You need to go back to the root, which is where I come to pattern tracing. Pattern tracing is something we all don't pay attention to. First, do a pattern of your generation. What is dominant in our children? At what age do our children start demanding for independence? What are those dominant behaviors in my family line? What happens to children at this stage or that stage? when you do all of this you know what to expect so it takes a man or a woman with a present mind hear me very well a man that is present in that circumstance circumstances. in that environment in that situation mm -hmm. to do what i just said to say okay in my family once he gets to this state children struggle with education mm. i'm just telling you what happens in my family children struggle with education so they need extra push to get them to cross that bar and once they do it becomes unstoppable so you must understand it at what age do children begin to demand this so what pushes children out in my family you understand those things you now say okay if this is what it is you bridge it but that you're not going to let your children mix with the society is a lie but you need to inculcate in them values that will guide them like as i i'll tell you one of the reasons why i didn't become an armed robber because life threw me under the box, the box very early in life. At 14, I was already on the road, um, a tenant at 14, uh, sole, sole dependent. I mean, I was fending for myself. So when life became tough, I could have just become an arm dropper. Mm. But I remembered something. If I bring anything home, there's a saying my father had, your child, I'm trying to do a direct translation yes, now. Yes, your child is not a laundry man, and he brings home other people's clothes, mm. and you're not bothered. You are seeing a thief and you are not mentioning it. Mm. So the fact that my father is going to tell the world that I am a thief is the reason I didn't become a thief. Mm. Because I hated anything that would tamper with my name. And I still do that till today. Mm. So you must create values that 
guide your children to say look in our tribe we don't do this we don't do this let me tell you this jacob labor to marry a wife for 14 years he didn't marry mm -hmm. two wives in 14 years he married he only married one wife one. he got one as an extra do you know why there's a culture in that family to marry fair women mm. so he was laboring to marry what is in the culture, culture not because he found a woman so what is in the culture of your family that will negate what the society is throwing at him or her because the society will throw things at you lgbtq is a trade mm. somebody is selling i mean uh gone is something somebody is selling drugs are things people are selling and we will walk past those streets your children will go through there to school they will go through there to work they will see the adverts on tv but what culture what culture is in your children what i told you about stealing was the reason i rose up against tv adverts some years ago i'm not going to give them cheap popularity it's um it's um, a mayonnaise and what did they do they showed a child in school. I'm sure they will know. They will know. Everybody will know this. Thing I'm saying. They showed a child in school who stole another child's bread because the bread came with that particular Ma brand of Ma mayonnaise. Ma mayonnaise. I remember. Do you get what I'm saying? And I was against it. You can't do this. Are you telling me that your brand is now supporting stealing? Because I was told growing up that stealing is bad. It's bad. Do you understand where I'm going? So it's a culture. Is you build that value in your children? No, let me, let's let's bring it home. The Bible says, train up a child in the way. In the way. Eh? You're training the child in the way. Why you're training the child? The child is a child. Mm. The child cannot express those training. But it is when you throw the child to the society, that's when your training is exposed. Mm. So train your children. Hmm. Train your children. Let's have a word of Mabula. When we return, I guess Remy Lawa is still in the studio. We'll see you on the other side. Because in navigating parenting in a challenged society, and uh, we have our guest, um, Remy Lawa, he's an author, family and life coach, and a therapist. And trust me, if you're just joining, you miss one part of the conversation, but that does not mean you can always go back, you know, to listen to it because it's very educative. When I mean educative and informative, okay, now let, let me ask this question yes, we are in a challenged society, we've seen what is happening around. We've trained our children. Some of them are losing these values. We've actually trained them, maybe due to influence of from friends, prejudice, or for whatever reason, they have a mind of their own. And they'll tell you, you, you know, it's like when you tell somebody, eat this food. It's in my place. If you've trained a child from early stage to have, um, let them eat a particular food, and then the child gets to a certain stage, he can decide, like, you know what, I'm done eating this particular food. I want a different meal. So I think maybe that's what is happening in society, where parents are putting in efforts to train their children. And then when they are thrown in the society out there, a few of them have a mind of their own. What is the way forward? Because I, I listened to a lady that was complaining. She said, but right from time, we've instilled these values in this child. Why would the child do this? And I could feel the pain, like, you're feeling like, I've done my best. Why is it that you're not having a mind of your own and you're choosing something different? So how do we, what's the way forward in the midst of all this? All right, you know, I mentioned earlier that you should do pattern tracing. Mm. I'll do a short psychology training here now. There's something we call third party imprint. Okay. It's dominant in our present world. And what is a third party imprint? Children, okay. When you call your child at the age of four, what do you want to be in life? The child will tell you, I want to be a medical doctor. Call the child one hour later, the child will tell you, I want to be a lawyer. <laughs> four hours later, call the child, the child will tell you, I want to be a policeman. Mm. Now, what happens is, in between those hours, the child saw something else that influenced very the true, decision. Very true. It will happen to almost all the best of children. It's one, one in 1,000 that you find the child at four. That will tell you i want to be a medical doctor and stands through it for life once one in thousand, one thousand. so virtually all the others go through third party imprints now if you understand it and you're somebody who pay attention but you know one thing we do is that we we do we carpet things a lot so the moment the child does it we laugh and you're forgetting that that's an opportunity to deal with it mm. so what you would do is what i did i'll tell you when this child said I want to be this. I allowed it to go. 
I didn't ask because I know something else must have happened. Mm. Then I waited for the age where I know that he would have done this. What do you want to be? Say, I want to be a cardiologist. Simple. Looked for pictures. Made him see pictures. And as God would have it, he downloaded a game. My son would talk you through how to carry out I mean, a heart surgery from step one to the final step. Wow. So when, what, you, what you're going to do is whatever you want your children to do, every word I'm speaking right now, all of you are interpreting it in pictures. Mm. So the moment you want your children to understand what you're saying, use pictures. They love colors. So put the picture of somebody who has excelled in a, in a particular field, paste them around your house. Instead of this idea of imaginary Jesus and imaginary mm. Muhammad mm. that they never know. Mm. Your children can never relate with your Jesus and your mm. Muhammad. Sorry, I'm not here. I'm a pastor. Yes. No, you Just yes. Before you think, before you think he's an antichrist, he's a pastor. Yes. Your children cannot mm. and will not relate with your idea of Jesus and Muhammad. Do you get me? But your children can relate with an Elon Musk. Mm. Can you please tone down your religion? He's succeeding in a field. Mm -hmm. eh? For your children to now mix religion to what he's doing is your job. Mm -hmm. But religion didn't take him there. Yeah. That's where all of you, in your heart of heart, you want your children to excel above him. But you're using your religion to minimize his achievement. Mm. Paste Elon Musk's picture in the house. Plan, talk about his journey. I mean, look at um, what's his name, Bill Gates. They said he was a dropout. You let your children understand that he was a dropout. Does not mean he didn't go to school. He didn't go to school. Yeah. How did he oh, go to he school? Pastor Matthew Ashimolo schooled himself at home at to home. do DCE mm -hmm. and common entrance. Can you please use pictures and words on your wall? Instead of looking for beautiful world to impress outsiders who are not impressed. Mm. If you like, we had somebody whose wall, half wall, was made of pure gold. Man, they mm. That, uh, okay, all of you are hearing it now. No, no. It, is not a, it is not a history. Mm. It is not written anywhere. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. It's not helped anybody. Mm. We had a big house on that um, Fadi Idia. It was pulled down. Uh, before it was pulled down by fascist government. It had already become a refuse dump yeah. used by a popular musician in this city. Mm. Do you understand what I'm saying? So your legacy is not in your building. Your legacy is not in your acquisition of wealth and all of that. It is in that which you build your children. That's how we live again when we die. Mm. Even though you're dead, your children will keep your legacies keep alive. alive. So please use pictures, use imageries, use things they can relate with, mm. understand how they think. Children think in picture, but not all of them. Some think in words. Mm. Some think they are kinesthetic. So make them participate. And like I said, please find how people do things. If you find a child who is result driven, please praise the result. If you find the one who is process driven, praise the process. the process. Now, what do you mean? If I'm process driven, all my attention will be on the process. Whether I achieve the result is not my problem. Those are, those are active people. You find them in churches. Mm. They are the ones that will carry chair. They are the ones that will carry table. When the service is on, they are busy they carrying chair. They are busy, you know, putting things. They are busy sweeping. They are busy calling everybody. They don't care whether you are preaching. And God recognizes with them because that's their own. Martha and Mary. Do you understand? And there are people that their own attention is the word. Whether the chair is facing this way it or facing that way. Yeah, so if you listen. want to speak with them, use their strength. Don't come from their weakness. If you come from their weaknesses, you will destroy their strength and every message will be lost on them. If you criticize me, my attention will be on the criticism. Very true. So every other thing you say will be, will judged, be judged from the from lenses of criticism. Lessons, so you yeah. don't mean well for me. But what if I come here? Wow, you did this. Awesome. Awesome. You know why I was coming? I just thought to myself that if we had kept it like this, honestly, we would have won an award. Mm. Do you want to win an award? Let's try yes, it like this next right. time. The child feels impressed because what you did was you massage the child's ego. But when you come, which is the challenge we have, you know when I spoke about the five pillars of family here Talk earlier, about. The moment anyone takes away your attention, you are agitated. You are at, uh, you know, on the edge all the time. What you're supposed to discuss, you're shouting at. Mm. 
Hmm. And when you shout, it doesn't mean your head. Uh -huh. So people don't hear you because you're shouting. Uh -huh. People hear you when you talk. Uh -huh. So talk to children. Don't shout at them. <laughs> Even they themselves will shut down because nobody is noise. Oh, Even you, 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 you like you me. Like in your workplace, if your guy comes down, you scatter everything. You, you pause. When your guy comes down, okay, what do you want me to do? Oh, okay. Because none of the shouting didn't tell me what to do. You were busy what shouting. What do you want me to do now? So, so can you please tell your children what you want them to do hmm. instead of backing out? Because when you back, they are lost. Okay, so what have I done? You'll be sure child just broke a plate and still wondering what have i done hmm. <laughs> and it's true what i've done like okay. but we have been unfair right. when an adult breaks a plate uh -huh. it was an error uh -huh. when a child breaks it it was deliberate it was deliberate <laughs> that's trouble okay <laughs> talk don't shout mm -hmm. now many parents remy um are confused mm -hmm. they many don't have the knowledge of going through the parenting rules, the parenting guides, the parenting, like you, uh, many don't have that knowledge. Many don't even have time to read through the books. I was discussing with somebody, I think it was in church, we were talking about, uh, the Sunday school on Sunday, we were talking about parenting, intentional parenting. On Sunday, and you know, we're talking about books that you can read. I said, I remember very well when I just got married, and even after. We used to have books, and we buy books, my husband will buy, we read things, you know, to process, to help us. But those books were expensive, you know, true, true. Yes. And I said, ah, these days, Alma is still more expensive than them. And so many decide to just go on their phone, go Google, whatever it is they are missing. But this is where I'm going. You have put a lot of things like a process to just us true now how do parents now come to the rising they have missed certain steps all this process you just mentioned and you know explains now they have missed it how do we catch up how do we correct our wrongs yeah we have some parents who cannot say sorry excuse me please yes we still have them yes we still have them but how do we now you know, try to correct the picture of um, the religious picture or the picture of what they want to become in life. Many of them are now carried away with um, maybe going through documentaries on TV. A child that loves documentaries, how do we compare that to one that has love, love for reading? What do we do? Okay. Um. First of all, you said you were having a conversation in church, yeah. and it's about intentional parenting, yeah. and that's what is missing. So a lot of us think that parenting is biological responsibility, and I tell them you're not different from an animal, because <laughs> there are chickens around my area that mm. use bed like two, three times in a year. So if it's a biological responsibility, all of us are equal, including animals. Mm. The difference between us and those ones, in fact, is not different, because an animal trains their children. I've watched an eagle. I've watched the documentary of an eagle training another eaglet, you know. Mm. I've seen lions. They train, train their children. Yeah, so why is it different from us? If you have missed it, you have not missed it. One of the things we do is that they say, don't fix it until it's broken. And I tell them in parents, don't wait till it is broken because fixing it can never be the same. Very true. If you cut me now, it will heal, but the scar will remain. That's it. So you don't want to leave children traumatized. For parenting, Hear me again. Do not wait until it is broken, broken before you before fix, you it. fix it. it. Fix it before it it's gets broken. broken. So, do they intentionally take time to go for parenting courses? Mm. You'll be shocked. You put up parenting things for free. People don't attend. Mm. Yeah. But put up prayers. Everybody will gather. Mm. Will gather. And you forget that prayers, if, if we all understand prayers, right? I will speak from my own side now. I'm a Christian. Prayer is picking up instructions, acting upon them, and then coming back to the person who instructed you to say, I have done my part of this. Where is your part? Where is your That's part? prayer. Prayer is not fall down and die. Mm. Apologies. Prayer is not, oh God, give me. Mm -mm. God did not say I will give you. 
if he says he will give you what did he ask you to do have you done it then you can tender so your come, receipt let's reason together that's it Isaiah 118 do you understand but we don't do that we just go with our emotion God does not respond to your emotion so I hope you all know so and, and everybody will say and I cried God is looking at you when you're ready talk talking about her and her son the Bible says she cried mm -hmm. God did, but God heard the voice of the child, the child. not the cry of the mother. mother it is the voice of the child are you speaking are you going out do you consult before it gets bad do you ask questions it's unfortunate when i buy a car i know mechanics workshop mm -hmm. but when i give birth to children i don't know the people the right people to meet mm -hmm. i think it's always my pastor so why wait until you need to pray i chose i said something a few days ago that a counselor or a life coach is a, an answer to your prayer consult them like bishop Oedepo will say god has given you wisdom so that you can give him rest mm. so that you can give him rest you don't need to pray about everything do i need to pray to get here just walk out the road my wife brought me here now we drove out the road we used the road when we got to where we used the navigator and we are here yeah. do you get what i'm saying i would have stayed in my house and be praying oh god get me to galaxy i think i'll be there forever <laughs> And that's what we do with parenting. Oh God, make mm. this child to become great. The child cannot be great. There are too many things you need, need to, to do, do before you can use your prayer to back it up. There are, I pray. I have a book here about prayers. I ask people to pray. I ask people to use words of affirmation. But then before you do all of those things, there are things you must do. Mm. Be a living example. Let me coast it home with all of this right now. Be a living example example apostle paul said one thing he said look i intentionally bring my body under that subjection. subjection meaning that this body will need some things that i should do but i cannot do them like i tell people the first law god created is not the law it's not ten commandments so. it is the law of self-restraint that was created in the garden of eden knowing i can steal this your phone but i i, mean, I will not steal your phone so be a living example, meaning show example, lead by example, speak with examples, and also use pictorial evidences to help your children find their strength, understand their personalities. You're parenting 10 children, you're parenting 10 human beings. Can you understand the humanity in your children and stop loving your parenthood on them? making yourself to be a master nobody wants to be wants anything to be lorded over him so if you have 10 children you have 10 individuals to understand don't say Shebe, i was the one who raised Taye. so automatically not bringing that bringing mentality up. no <laughs> Taye is not the same as ken they have to use twins now mm. they are not the same yeah. understand the personality of this person which was why i said do pattern tracing do pattern tracing what is dominant in this child at 11 p.m this child does this thing so understand it and work directly so let's have tailor-made parenting tips for every child and those children will understand it that look the way mommy treats me your children may not so your children you have 11 children on the table mm. 10 will eat your food very well one will not eat it exactly. because you're not presenting the food the way it attracts that child some children want you to put their protein in a particular way have you understood it you just lump everybody up and then tomorrow you're wondering why one is the black sheep that one was not parented hmm. that one was not parented and let me say this every time as a parent you ask where did you get this from the child got it from you but i'm not a thief i don't lie congratulations but every time you find something strange in your child the child got it from you not from outside so even if i'm picking it from outside you led me outside i didn't lead myself, myself outside. outside so if you want to raise children in a challenged society i've said first for those of us, for those not so, not us, for those who have made mistakes in marriage, right. find corrections. You can make it work. It can work. We've seen it work. Believe me, it can work. It has worked with so many. 
that thought look we're going to divorce we're going to do this are you ready to divorce and at the end of the day they are living happily today we've seen it work we've seen a lot of troubled homes being mended it can work but all you need to do is make up your mind that look i need help and then you go out there now the society is troubled not your fault no fault of any of us but we have our own contributions all we need to do now is to ensure that where your child is coming from has stronger influence on your child than where your child is going Green, that's where i will influence. come into i will come into an environment they will tell me this is how they do it and i will put it side by side with values. my values Does and once they don't agree i leave i walk out of churches this i'm saying i will, I'm, I'm not one to be impressed by i attend that big church mm. Mm -hmm. the moment the values of that church disagrees with my own because i'll be the one who will lose my peace the most important thing for me in my life is my peace of course. so once i lose my peace why am i serving why am i there managing i walk i'm sim i'm sorry i walk so people have seen me do this over time it's not that i'm not encouraging it i've, I've been in a place for 16 years in a particular place and I'm somebody who stick with people, but mine is once my values begins to get, to get violated, violated, I walk. So raise children in a stronger place than where they are going. So that when they get there, nothing you say. There's nothing you do now that will put cigarettes in my mouth. There's nothing. Nothing. I'm still thinking there is nothing. I told people in my 54 years in life, I've never thrown the first punch. punch. I've never been arrested. My parents have never had cause to go out there to help me or bail me from anything, whether police, uh, whether somebody I offended and all of that. So I now ask, what I didn't do when peer pressure was there, was there. Why when I was I still not mature. Now? So is it now? Is it now? That's the reason why I have never told my wife, shut up. Is it now? In 15 years of marriage, I've never said to my wife, shut up. Because... If I've not fought my fellow man, so it is the other person outside. I've never fought anybody outside. So it's you not my wife. That'll be my punching. Be no, punching no, no. It can never happen. In fact, it will never happen. Do we have situations like that? <sighs> yes. So please, let us raise children in a stronger environment than where they are. Okay, while we're rounding up, please, I'd like you to give your word of advice to parents who are in a troubled situation, still trying to navigate. We have parents that are lost when it comes to parenting. Mm -hmm. um, it's like they are there and they just don't know what to do. They are fed up. They've gotten to that point like, I just leave you people to your faith. What's your advice in, in one, two minutes to such parents? That My advice to you is to reach out. If you find yourself in a merry clay, you're sinking, the thing you do is that you raise your hand to see if you can hold on to something or somebody can hold on to your hand. So if you're in such a merry clay right now, I'm asking you to just raise your hand. There's no shame in asking for help. So ask for help. And if it went wrong, you see those five pillars that I mentioned? That's where you correct it. One of them took your attention away from your children. Even now that you're saying, I leave you to your faith, you have one that is a suko. Mm. So it should be I would go and pursue my career. It should be I would go and balance my emotion. Mm. It should be I'll build my finance and give you people enough money. It should be I'll build my relationship. For something, it was the relationship of his mother and his father that ruined him. A lot of us have not seen that because those people were too much in love. They didn't pay attention to him. Samson was not a very well-built man with big biceps. <laughs> if not, he wouldn't have needed the help of the of Holy, Spirit Holy Spirit to kill, to anybody. kill anybody. He wouldn't have needed his head to grow again to kill all the Philistines in that hall. So he was not, I must be bigger than Samson. I'm telling you, I must be stronger than him. So you need to go back to those five pillars. Reach out. There is help. There is help. It's not over for your children. It's not over for you. There is help. We need to just check those five pillars. See where you have missed it. And we start correcting it. To correct your children, correct you. Hmm. To correct your children, correct you. Thank you. Your social media handle, please, for our viewers. Okay. Um, on Facebook, I'm Lawa Luluremi. And uh, you can also find me on parenting.org. Um... My website is www.thrustleadershipconsult.com. And um, 
Uh, I think that's enough. <laughs> okay, so a big thank you to to our dear Remy from Ibado. Ibado. I'm a Lagos. I'm a Lagos person. I'm a Lagos person. So it's so good to have him right here this morning. Want to say thank you once again, and it's another beautiful day. I wish you the very best of today. Remember, talk, don't shout on your children. Talk, they will listen, they will hear you. You don't need to scream and shout. Have a beautiful day. My name is Remy Lulura. I to be David, and um, join me on Facebook. Bye for now. Okay, you know I told you when we started the show that today is going to be very educative and very informative. In fact, I was literally glued, you know, like when you, when you have a jot on your head and you're jotting down everything he has said. There are two books here. Um, we have 100 Prayers Affirmation for Children and then Lead by Remy Lawa. So if you want any of the copies, please reach out to Real so that we will give you directives. And it's, 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 it's a book you must have, please. If you must have, do parenting intentionally, be an intentional parent, please learn to read. Read, read. It doesn't take anything from you. One hour, two hours of your time, you can use it to read. Thank you very much for being a part of today's show. Um, we'll see you tomorrow, Wednesday, midweek. And it's going to be another interesting topic as we will be discussing toxic marriage. <laughs> That's going to be another table shaker tomorrow. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. My name still remains Joy Abu. Have a great day ahead. <laughs>